Hey y'all and welcome back to another podcast. This is LaShanti here and y'all haven't made a podcast since April. But I really want to start taking like my YouTube and podcast a little bit more seriously going on because it's something that I really enjoy and really I just wanna focus on school, do this on the side, you know, also work and whatnot. Make sure I attain the grades and everything. But we just gonna kick it right back at it. So this episode is going to be about Gen Z and the things about Gen Z that I do not like. I'm a part of Gen Z, but I can say there's a lot of things that I do not like about my own generation. We are wishy-washy, majority. I see more negative things sometimes than positive. And I'm going to tell y'all what those things are. I've noticed a lot of jealousy, anger, hatred, and just trends that I feel like shouldn't really be trends and one of those is talking about relationships with Gen Z I feel like we are so wishy-washy because when you do one thing and then somebody else disagree then you change how you are and what you did or say about that one thing that you disagreed with but instead you hopped along with it another thing will be about people being in your business more than they are in their own clock it what they make and say and want to be Y'all need to clock that tea real bad because y'all, why is everybody in somebody else's business but their own? Please explain that to me. Literally, the first week of college, I came back because it's my second year. I come back to college the first week. Why everybody in my business? And when I say that, I'm talking about people that I know that I went to campus, like I'm on campus with. Taking pictures and stuff with me, hanging out with someone that I know that I'm cool with and thing being said about me this that and the third I said why are you in my business more than your own you need to be worried about the relationship with you you need to be worried about stuff that's going on with you don't be worried about what Lashanti over here doing you worry about what you needs to be doing I'm a dumb teenager I'm gonna make mistakes I'm a young adult I'm gonna be 20 I'm not daddy and me was talking and stuff like that the other day and pretty much it was like you know you're young you're gonna make decisions and stuff like that you just have to learn from it and you're going to do things that you're not going to be proud of, and that's okay. And I'm I'm in that stage right now. I'm young, and I'm still doing decisions and stuff like that that I'm not always proud of. People I talk to sometimes, just how things are. But the thing is, it's just like that my mom would say, don't put too much of your emotions on your shoulders for someone can knock you down and then it brings you down. Our generation feels off jealousy because you can literally just be an amazing person and just do good things and somebody's gonna hate you for it people don't want you to succeed sometime in this generation and i'm speaking from a female point of view from what i've learned girls be more jealous of girls than we realize the body type the hairstyle the how the way you style your outfits etc being black too is kind of more of a like it's harder to explain because you can just be a very nice person being like speaking of like experience and stuff like that but people just not gonna like you and that's okay but you shouldn't have to people pleasing that's a lesson that i am definitely learning to teach myself to stop people pleasing me and my therapist was talking last week she said you just need to stop caring what people think all the time about you it's your life not theirs and really when she said that to me, it made me think like, why do I care so much about what somebody else say? They ain't living in my life. They know what's on the outside, but they don't know what's in. Y'all don't know the fact, y'all just seeing the story, okay? And with that being said to me, it's just like, I never will understand why people want to care so much about what other people think. Like, I really lived that way for all my life, just caring so much, wanting to people please because I wanted to be accepted so bad why should I be accepted by people who don't need to be accepted by me you can say whatever you want to say about me but I'm a kid and what they say the world can spin it's gonna keep on spinning no matter what anybody else say that person tries to break you down that's what our generation would do Gen Z would do that to you and it's so sad because I've seen more people have more negativity towards each other more than positive when I'm on TikTok and I see Hope Core, I thrive to be on Hope Core TikTok. And I don't even be on TikTok like that no more. Y'all, I deleted Instagram so many times. I don't even care for Instagram anymore. 
And the reason why is because I saw a negative side of me that I did not want to see. We also compare our lives to others on people online. Why do our generation do that? Because we, I don't know, to be honest. I can't give y'all a definite answer, but speaking from personal experience, I compared my life so much to people that I went to like high school with and seeing how they're living versus how I'm doing. Everybody has their own blessings coming their way, and people live at different parts of times in life. And what that means is that what's going good for them may not work for you. You got to find your own course. You got to be on your own path. You can't be worrying about what they doing and stuff like that. See, you need to get off that app, delete it, and start worrying about you. Focus on you. Get yourself together. Get that mental together. Get Come on, get the academic side of you together. Get the spiritual side of you together. Cause maybe we need to get back on that for a clocky. And the thing is, it's like, I have to try to find me again. We live in a world where you don't see much positive anymore. I walk on heaven. I'm scared that I'm going to be judged this and that. But why should I be scared of people who don't know me? Why should I care what other people think? I'm not trying to sit up here and put on something good for a man's approval. No, 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 no. I'm going to do it for me because I know I can put that stuff on. I'm going to make sure I look good with or without makeup sometimes. Like I might let do a little, you know, a little something to cover up some blemishes, but that's okay. But I also still look good, like got the nails on, this and that, everything. I'm finding me. That's what I'm learning is that I'm finding me. And I'm not going to have myself together all the time or every day, and that's okay. But we live in a generation where people will make you or criticize you for not having yourself together. But why is that? That's what I don't, I never will understand. And another thing is, why do we follow trends so much and trends don't even be good? And when I'm talking about trends, I mean like how you treat people. I've seen this trend too much on TikTok and honestly, it's really stupid to me. Because speaking from like what I've seen, I've seen more people be okay with just hurting people just because why not? And I don't understand that. And I never will. It's a trend sometimes to just hop from one person to another and just to treat them badly on purpose. Now, like people say, teach their own. This is just me speaking for me. So it's just like I've seen a lot of people get hurt. And I can vouch for that because I was one of them people. Sometimes you just want to have a good heart and people know how to break it. We live in a generation where that just happens and it's sad. We live in a generation where if you seem like you're on your self-care journey, then it's not good enough for some people. But you can't care what other people think. Our world feels off jealousy and hatred. Talk crap about people. Be okay with people not being here no more. Our generation really is okay with just being negative and having so much anger in their hearts. And I never will understand why. I'm not the most positive person. I can vouch for that. Because it's myself. But one thing I'm learning is that I have to learn to love what I can do. If I means I want to create a change, that means that's what I can do. I'm going to try. I don't want to be like everybody else and talk crap about people, stuff like this, to fit in. No, I'm not like that. Never was raised that way. Because I wouldn't want someone talking bad about me. The thing is, we care so much about other people's approval and validation to the point we lose ourselves. We care so much about what we post online and stuff for likes and views, but we lose ourselves. You see the trend here with all of this jealousy, anger, and hatred? We lose ourselves in the process with us being that way. And that's what a lot of people in the generation don't seem to realize yet. Why are you okay with caring what people think about you so much, but yet again you lose yourself? And I can vouch so bad because people have said things about me and try to hurt me and so much and so much in college y'all that it's just like y'all need to get a life get it together because i'm finding i'm trying to find me and find what works for me y'all are lame y'all worrying so much about me and wanting to break me down into pieces because you think that you are that baby you ain't you ain't all that trust because you up here sitting and talking crap about somebody shows enough about your own character i'm not gonna sit up in here which bad on nobody i said i pray I pray that y'all be safe. I pray that, I, what they say, keep your friends closer, but your enemy closer. No, okay, then. That's all I got to say for y'all. But all I'm going to say is that our generation, well, Gen Z, speaking from experience, is that 
we care so much about people validation to where we follow trends that is hurtful that is wicked in some way and we don't care about the action because we just say yolo and when i mean that it's just like you saying a bunch of stuff bad about somebody or treating somebody badly just because why not that's really what i mean when i say you live in this way when people have anger so much in their hearts they live that way and see that way to the point where that's how they that's just how they want to continue their life and just have anger and grudges but life's too short for that take it from me when i was 13 i had anger and held a grudge against someone that i stayed in a home house with and barely even talked to for a year that was me when i was 13 and i would never want to be that same me that i was six years ago going on seven I would never want to be there again because I realized that how much life, you have to appreciate life for what it is and what it, instead of what it's not. You got to cherish what you have in life. There's no purpose of being angry. I had, I had people just do me wrong and they think that I hate them, but I never will. You can break me down multiple times, but I'm going to still forgive you at the end of the day. Because that shows enough more about my character is that I'm never going to have hatred. No matter how bad you treated me, no matter how bad, how much stuff, crap you said about me, I'm going to still forgive you. I'm still going to, I'm just still that person. Like, I'm not going to have hatred towards you because you tried to knock me down. And the lesson right now that I'm learning for myself is that I'm going to get right back up. I'm going to have days where I fall, people want to hurt me, treat me like crap, say stuff about me, have stuff posted about me, this and that, etc. I'm still going to get back up because it's a choice for you to stay down. That's what my motivational app said. Stop living in a world where it's okay that you want jealousy, anger, and to follow trends that hurt people. That's what y'all need to realize is that y'all need to just put on this impression to just be a better version of yourself this season. The season starts now. The season starts when you want it to start. And this it's more so the fact you need to understand how long and far you want to go because it should be living a better life of forgiveness. I might have been hurt, and I know people who have, who have been hurt. But yet again, at the end of the day, forgiveness is big to me. I would never hold a grudge against you. I would never hate nobody because hate is a strong word. And that's why I don't understand why so many people be okay with saying bad things about people. But you don't even know them personally. You just know what's on the outside instead of in because you care about what other people said about this person to put an opinion on that person. But what happened if someone doing that same thing to you, then you will feel the same way that the other person did. Clock it. Because y'all need to learn to just start being a better version of yourself. Be a better person. Stop caring about what people say who just want to hurt you, make you fall, make their ego thrive, get cocky, whatever forgive just keep on living keep on doing you because that's the best thing you can do for yourself forgive live life to the fullest and i know that's like a cheesy cliche quote but it's true do the most that you can for yourself in life and just thrive to be a better version of you because you are literally your own person you're like my mom used to tell me like sometimes like i'm a rose you gonna grow on your own you can be you've been put in this world and you go in there alone. Even if you had a twin or something like that, y'all still your own different person. You doing things to learn more about yourself as life progresses. So don't care about what other people are doing. And then if you know it's bad or something you don't want to be a part of, then don't do it. Keep on being the better version of yourself. Because that's all that you can do. Have forgiveness in your heart. And that's all I really got for you guys. Stop living in a world where jealousy, anger, and hatred makes y'all thrive. Go go be positive. You'll realize how much better life can be if you just start thinking positively. Write yourself positive affirmation cards like I've been doing because I've been trying to do better because I lived in a world too long where I had just negativity in my heart. I thought so negatively to the point I thought negatively about myself. But... I'm taking it one step at a time, and not every day is going to be great. But it's the fact that I have to learn to be comfortable within my own skin and be positive and have forgiveness in my heart no matter how people may treat me. I'm still going to make mistakes. I'm a dumb teen, a dumb young adult who's going to be 20. I'm still going to make mistakes. I'm not no perfect saint. Lord knows I'm not. And that's what I really want to tell y'all. 
it's okay to mess up. It's okay to make mistakes. Being a part of Gen Z, like speaking from like speaking for our generation, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay if you mess up. It's all that matters that you get back up from those mistakes and keep on trying to be a better person than you was yesterday. I love y'all and I hope that y'all take this with y'all and just start learning to be positive and just learn forgiveness and have it in your heart because it can go a long way, even when it don't seem like it will. And I catch y'all in the next podcast. Hope that y'all enjoy. Don't forget to just, you know, follow me on the Shanti Talks. Follow me on All About the Shanti on YouTube. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. And I catch y'all in the next podcast. Bye.